All right, so another wonderful edition here of The Real Talk. And today I'm also doing it with a female. I believe when it comes to the female, I have some soft spot for them. I don't go very hard because already they are naturally soft. And uh, talking about comedy, you know, over the weeks we have been talking about comedy in Ghana. And I remember last week we had a smooth chat with uh, comedian Obi Amponsan when he went to Nigeria. And during the conversation, he, he added that he was not there alone. He was actually there with one lady, maybe you have also been looking for that lady for her experience. Sami Flex TV, we found her. So we have some one or two questions for her as well to answer. My name is Sami Flex and she is Jacinta Mamacita. <laughs> <laughs> what an introduction. <laughs> Mamacita had to come here. <laughs> uh, who is Mamacita? Um, the name, it had to appear on the show. Hey, strong name. Uh, why, do you want to hide it? No, 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 not at all. It's Do you know I only got to know when we met in London? Really? Yes, I, I, saw, I saw your poster. You were doing a radio appearance in yes, London. Yes, yes, for your brother. So I saw <laughs> Jacinta Mamacita. Um, oh, really? <laughs> no, initially when he comes, oh, do you know Mamacita is coming to us? Oh, who is Mamacita? Who is Mamacita? Jacinta. Said, oh, Jacinta. This is a Facebook name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is your name on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yes, Jacinta or Cancer. The Mamacita is no... Them things people do, you know, mm, to just spice up, mm, mm. spice up the profile. <laughs> oh, Mama Sita. Mama Sita. <laughs> oh, I see. Anyway, so if you are looking for her on Facebook, you should know that she is Jacinta Okansi Mama Sita. Mama Sita is in the middle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's get it right there, eh? Jacinta. Let's get it right. So, Jacinta Mama Sita Okansi. Okansi. Yes. Yeah, very important. Um. Uh, you have a Ghanaian name because some of us we know you are. 100%. My name is Jacinta Asi Okanse. Asi. So which one is Nigeria? Which one is Ghana? My name is English. My surname is Ghanaian. My middle name is Ghanaian. So. Oh, the Asi is also Ghanaian. Yes. So why do you call yourself Ghanaija? Gagerian. Gagerian. Okay. <laughs> why do you call yourself Because I grew Gajerian? up in Lagos, mm -hmm. and the Nigerian thing is. In, when people meet me for the first time, mm -hmm. if, if I don't tell you I'm Ghanaian, mm -hmm. you wouldn't really know because of my accent. Okay. Just the same way, you know, I came back from London and people were surprised because oh. my accent changed. How many, weeks, <laughs> how, many, how many weeks were you in London for you to have a changed accent? You know, these things, it comes to me naturally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so within just two weeks you were, you were in London, you had a changed accent. That's about it, fam. Any, <laughs> <laughs> I get you, I get you, I get you. But I'm so happy to know you are still Thank in the you. game Thank because you. um I, I yeah wow. because I thought I thought at, at the point in time Ghanaians will frustrate you because mm. as, a, as a matter of fact to me maybe there are others but you are one person that is a female who really stood up and said I am doing comedy as a profession. Mm. Thank you. I don't know Thank if there you. is any. It's, uh, for now, I've not really seen. Not in Ghana. I know seen. in Nigeria, yes. we have the, um, the Helen Paul yes, and all Helen. those people. Uh -huh. But then with you, you came up and said that, yes, this is my job. This is the profession. How has it been so far? It's not been an easy road, though. You mentioned frustration. It gets really frustrating sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes there are people who are really ethnocentric, who would not listen to you because they feel this Niger girl you know, and mm -hmm. then they begin to like you when they find out that you're not actually Nigerian, okay. you're Ghanaian. And sometimes, too, it just feels like they want to compare you. They want to put you on a map with the guys, okay. you know. But then they realize that me, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm on my lane. I don't want you to equate me to anyone or mm -hmm. anybody. So mm -hmm. I'm just good. It, it, it gets very frustrating sometimes, but it's been worth it. It's been very, very worth it. Did you start practicing the comedy thing in Nigeria or everything started here in Ghana? Hmm, when you say practicing, I had, I had the passion to start comedy when I was in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But it was the same year I came to Ghana. Okay. So I didn't have the opportunity to get on any big stage in, in, Nigeria. in Nigeria. It was just one comedy club I attended, aside church. I was doing stuff for church. People would invite me to birthday parties. I would do five minutes, just make people laugh. But it was when I came to Ghana, I actually 
became a professional stand-up comedian. Mm. Because now I, I, I realized that it's not just about holding the mic to stand and talk to people. I had to be more creative. I had to be consistent. Mm -hmm. I had to be my own self. And with, uh, with the fact that I was in school... Mm -hmm. I was, it wasn't easy for me at all because it was something I, I really wanted to do. Okay. It was not easy, but you know now. <laughs> I know, I know. Now, I know school is over. You, you yes. started working with graphic communications and other yes. media houses. Um, are you now having the freedom to go hard? Yes, I am. I am. I think that's why I can afford to be built on international stages travel out to rep gh stand-up mm -hmm. comedy so i have i have all the freedom i mm. have all the freedom that i have sometimes people think that because you are a female very beautiful and you have what the african man would like uh, yes. you are likely to entice them especially your audience to even laugh when your joke is not funny oh the african man loves it's huge the front and the back. I'm not huge. I am not sexualizing myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to coffee capito you. What I mean is that okay. the African man, we love the contours. Mm. Uh -huh, we love the contours from head to down. You understand? That's I what I mean. That's what so, makes me. Uh, with that, in addition to the kind of words you say, what you do on the stage, mm -hmm. do you get some added advantage? I don't think so. If you're funny, you're funny. Mm. People come to a comedy show because they want to laugh. Mm -hmm. If they want to look at a woman with body or, you know, whatever, they know where to go to. Okay. And most of the time, even people, guys, men who go for comedy shows, they even come with their women. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know men who drive with their wives, but they still tend to peep. No, even when they peep, they know what to say. <laughs> they act like they don't like it. But uh -huh. just to say so whilst they are still enjoying your mm -hmm. jokes, they can mm -hmm. still fantasize and still think well, about Well, maybe you. they do. I'm not aware. Mm -hmm. But I hope it's for good. <laughs> but then mm -hmm. I feel that people... Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, oh, that's it. She acts like she doesn't know the kind of body she has. Mm -hmm. I, I hear that mm -hmm. some. Mm. But it's normal. It doesn't add it's anything not, to your performance. I don't think so. I've never been about how I look. I could talk about being a sick girl, mm -hmm. you know, which I enjoy doing so much. Mm -hmm. I could talk about the pain. As part of your jokes. Yes, as part of my jokes. Being a thick girl, the joys, the pains, the frustrations, and mm. everything included. Mm -hmm. But I've never made it seem like, you know, I can't even be sexy to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, she still doesn't know the definition of being sexy. Uh, so maybe well, one day when no, we get the, a time, the social media definition. Not that one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, what what lies in the eyes of those who are seen that one? Maybe they do. They should yeah. tell me. You know. Uh, they should. If you go if you go closer to some of them, they will tell you that one. Mm. I know. But I hear they are scared of me. My colleagues tell me that there are people who really want to talk to me, but then they are scared to approach me because they feel ah for a nice girl like this to do comedy yeah she's going to be very well i'm like i'm a very gentle lion mm. i cannot hurt anybody are you saying this to encourage men to approach you more no i'm not i'm just saying because you asked the question that mm. maybe they would if i get closer but the thing is i hear that people are even scared of talking to me mm. because what of what you do yes because of what i do Wow, I'm interested. And I think um, it's good. What does it mean? Does it mean uh, there is no man in your life now? You are not dating because men are scared to come closer. They think you take everything they say for mm -hmm. a joke. <laughs> I think that's part of it because a guy once asked me, so you, now if I tell you I like you, will you take me serious? I'm like, yeah, I'll take you serious. He started laughing. I'm like, why? He said... You know, you're a comedian, so I don't even know when you are serious. I'm like, ah, I'm serious. <laughs> but comedians also have oh, feelings, man. You know, so yeah. sometimes it's, it's, it's a tough one because you're having a conversation with somebody, you're really serious, and they're laughing. Uh -huh. Like, you, you, I can't take you serious. I'm like, I'm serious. I say, look at your face. Look at the way you've even said it. Look at it. I say, ah, but I'm serious. Ah, you're joking, you're joking. I'm like, okay. So sometimes it gets like that and mm. yeah, people don't take this seriously. Well, you'll find a way out. You'll find a way out. <laughs> Guys, be smart, especially <laughs> if you are a lover of such a flesh. You have to be smart and move on. 
lover of my work. <laughs> um, the flesh. No, 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 no. We, we love your work and we love you as a person. Okay. These are two different things. Don't combine them. Okay. Don't spoil the fun. <laughs> I beg you. That is how we want it. Um, let's get into serious business now. Um, I believe that she started performing here actively and commercially in Ghana. But then not long ago, she was also invited to be part of the bill in Nigeria for Lord of the Rips. And as a matter of fact, Ghana is really jubilating because our reps, our representatives, they really did us a good service. So far, we are so proud of them. But then let's ask Jacinta, is this your biggest platform yet? The Lord of the Rips in Nigeria, would you declare that as your biggest platform so far? Yes, as far as my commercial career is concerned, that's mm -hmm. my biggest platform so far in my career mm -hmm. because he put me on stage with comedians from across the globe from London, America, South Africa, Nigeria, mm -hmm. and even someone came from Dubai, I think, somebody from Dubai. So yes, it was a very challenging um, platform because I realized that this one is just, it's not just about you are your fellow Ghanaians mm -hmm. where you can joke mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. stuff happening around you. Now you're telling Continental jokes, mm -hmm. intercontinental. Yeah, something everybody exactly. around the world can everybody. find funny. Exactly. So it was very challenging, but it was a very, it was, um, what's that English? A, a turning point, for yes, you. for me. Until we go through some difficult experiences, trust me, we will never enjoy a breakthrough. So I'm so happy that um, Jacinta has said it was difficult, but then a turning point for her. Do you see yourself as a beginner still, or you still think, okay, when it comes to the industry, you have arrived? I've not arrived. I've not arrived. I'm still in the growing process, because mm -hmm. every platform for me is an avenue to meet with new people, interact with new people, okay. and I, I take every stage as it's my first time performing. I've not, I've not arrived. Mm. So I'm whilst you were there looking at the people on the bill, how did you see yourself? Did you see yourself as that young girl who's about to open the act or open the stage for the mm. big men? You know, from the onset, when I saw the flyer, I was the only girl on the flyer. Okay. You know, the whole comedy festival, there was just one girl with a Ghanaian flag on it. And I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like if there's another girl you say okay like you still have you some, rub shoulders uh, with her but it was just me <laughs> i was like hey, ready mm -hmm. a coupon <laughs> so when they told me i was going first i mean i think i was not the first act, act okay yeah i was not the first act because i think about four or five other people performed before, before you. me Mm. But I performed before Obi. Mm. So for the Ghanaian contingent, for, you yes, were called yes. first. I was called first. So when the event was now about to start proper, proper, mm -hmm. when IK came on stage to officially, you know, announce that, yes, the show is about to begin, I was the first act. And, hey, I was just there and then. I was like, wow, <laughs> this, this is going to happen. <laughs> but I, it was mixed feeling. I was happy that, you know, that's like play, like play. Mm -hmm. We started like a joke. We're making, you know, you knew me when I was in yeah. school, mm -hmm. when I did that comedy show in school. Mm -hmm. It all started like a joke. And then I'm like, hey, so this is where this thing has reached. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome. I got on stage and the people were screaming as if they knew me before. Now I understand what, what you said earlier. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'm happy it is now landing well. Maybe they liked the person they saw, mm -hmm. um, I think. Oh, so just the appearance on the stage, yes, they started giving applause. Yes, immediately we got on stage, as in people were screaming. And then one guy, someone in front who I couldn't make the face out, I'm sure he couldn't help. He just said, see, nyash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He just said it out of so I, I couldn't let it pass. I said, Did you just say <laughs> so you ain't seen nothing yet? Uh -huh. You know, so I think that's kind of warmed up, you know, into their hearts. They uh -huh. welcomed me and it kind of made me relax. It's not as if that was my first time performing in Nigeria. Okay. But like I said, this was a more Bigger platform. Bigger platform, larger mm -hmm. audience. You're reaching out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You're reaching out to people who came because they want to listen to an American comedian. Okay. They came because they want to listen to a comedian from London. Mm -hmm. So 
They may not really have interest in you from Ghana. That's the truth because that's how comedy is. Okay. People have their preferences. So mm. you being in that spot and them seeing you for the first time and liking you, it was just a humbling experience altogether mm. for me, honestly. See, how did your call come? Um, Obi has given me his experience. I also mm. want to know how yours came. Is it because maybe Jacinta is very well known in Nigeria or how? Honestly, if you ask me, I, I still can't tell because... One day I was there when Basquemal just sent me a DM. I think some months ago he followed me on Instagram and I was about to throw a party like, yeah, Basquemal just followed me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he followed you first yeah. on Instagram? No, I fo I, oh, I've okay. been following Hey, I've been following him you. since. Okay. So he followed me back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was there one day when, you know, he... Okay, even before that day, I had a, uh, I called Buchi because I was to go to Nigeria to perform at Sheila's show in August. Mm -hmm. So immediately I, I touched down in Lagos. I called Buchi because Buchi, I've known Buchi since I was in Nigeria. So I called him and said, oh, I'm in town. I'm here to perform at Sheila's show. He said, oh, congrats, congrats, kill it. I come to uh, Bright, ask after you today. Oh. I said, eh. Please, what did he say? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, he just uh, asked, but I tell him, say you did good. Right, you as in good. basket mouth. Yes, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said, I tell him, say you did good. And I said, okay, da. he sent me a DM telling me that I should keep in touch with him, that there's something uh, coming up he would like to discuss mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. And me too, I've been keeping in touch, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always checking how far. Bro, how know far? I what it was. <laughs> <laughs> When he said, I said, I was, and I told Buchi, I said, ah, yes, so that he told me something. I said, please, did he tell you what it is? He said, no, he not tell me all. I said, okay. Hey, I was not thinking. I said, hey, what is it? Could mm -hmm. I was not thinking maybe they want to put me on flatmate. You know, he has a series yeah. that yeah. shows. I said, ah, anyhow, be pla the basket mouse platform is a good, whatever it, it is. I know big. he needs me for yeah. good. You know, so I was just there one day. He messaged me, sent me a DM, sent me your pictures to this email. Sent me email. He said, it's late. My, my people have done the lineup already, but mm -hmm. I'll see what I can do. I'm not promising you, but I'll see what I... So I was taking... All this right was still not clear you know, what exactly he was communicating. I was like, okay. As, as at that time, the first flyer was out because my picture was not on the first flyer. Mm. So I was like, okay, so send me your pictures. My people have put their things together, but you know, I'm not promising. And all that. So I sent the pictures to the email, and then the second flyer came out, and I saw my face, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Singing in tones. <laughs> Uh, so, so, so what does it mean? There wasn't any official negotiations as to Jacinta no, coming were. to perform. They, that's what I'm saying. We were keeping in touch. Mm -hmm. He said something is coming up. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay. So when he asked me for the pictures and I sent it, that was when the rest of the conversation followed. Uh -huh. I see. So, uh, we um, Did they start putting some pressure on you? Especially when you had seen the previous faces, the names, their caliber, their stature in the industry, and you have not been added. Did they start putting some heat and pressure on you? Uh, not in a bad way. Not mm -hmm. in a bad way. I just felt like, wow, I'm performing with these people then I'm, I must be doing something right. Okay. Yes, because you won't just wake up one morning. And, you know, because I've known Bucci for a very long time, even there was a time I was quarreling with him over the phone, I said, ah, you, you are like this with basket mouth. By now, you people should be putting me on your mm -hmm. big, you mm -hmm. know, productions Platforms, and yeah. everything. And Bucci said something to me. He said, Bright, if Bright no see you by himself, nothing where you go, tell him where you go oh, here. He said, Bright, they like when he know you. Mm -hmm. You see what thing you feel do. Mm. Uh -huh. That one, if person can talk, he goes, so, okay, 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 that person, okay, oh, oh, nice, nice. But say, you just there, we all come, they talk. He said, you know, go here, oh, so Jacinta, that Ghana, I'm saying it the way he said it. Mm -hmm. He said, that Ghana, where you there, you are doing good. Just continue, you know, killing it, continue doing your best, continue mm. building your brand. Mm. It will happen. Mm. That was what which is, he said it will happen. Mm. So um, for him to contact me, I felt like, wow, whoever must have even put in a word or two for me. Because definitely, like Buchi said, mm -hmm. he called him to ask him about mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. He would have definitely it's called someone. someone started, yeah. uh -huh. So uh, it, just, it just made me feel like, wow, mm -hmm. 
like hard work, all the frustrations. But it's pain you know, so sometimes I, I, I'm still, people still don't accept me. Trust me. I know a lot they of don't accept you how? As a Ghanaian. Oh, okay. Yes, they, some people have still not accepted that. Well, this Ghanaian, Nigerian thing, I don't know when the fight will be over. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in our heart, in our heart, it is over. Mm -hmm. Now, after, after that splendid performance in Nigeria, can you now hit your chest and say, I am ready for the world? Oh, I've always been ready for the world. That platform was a world platform. Mm. Pascal Mouth has been everywhere in the world. So being on the same stage with him, him hosting you, mm -hmm. you know, you're on the stage where it is boldly written, hosted by basketball, and your name is there. Mm. That is the world. Mm. Any other thing, Najara? I see. How many minutes were you given to perform? We're all given. I, I heard you, you did two shows. Yes, it was a, because it was a festival, so mm -hmm. it was Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we did, we were given 10 minutes for both mm. days, but mm. you know how these things go. Already, mm. we had already planned for more than 10 minutes. Mm. So mm. now that they are telling us 10 minutes, now we have to, you know, mm. even backstage, me and Obi were like, oh boy, let's go shift this one. No? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, talking about backstage, um, the last time I met Obi, he talked about feeling nervous backstage. Ah. How was your experience backstage? <laughs> uh, I want to know about that. <laughs> I want to know about your personal experience. No, at the, the first, the first day, eh? uh -huh. <laughs> come and see me shaking. You were shaking. Hey, hey. I was vibrating like Nokia, <laughs> thirty-three ten. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So when they called us, and you know, IK is a wonderful host. Yeah. I as in, yeah, he's a senior guy. <sighs> The way you introduce you alone, he has given you some level. Confidence. Be like yeah. you go on stage. The way he introduced me, like later, she's a fine woman. She's a mixture of Ghana Jollof and Niger Jollof. Mm. I'm like, hey, I <laughs> if I know funny, what's going go happen? <laughs> 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 you know, you start playing things in your head, like hey, all this hype. So we got on stage and. I did a little dance move. We finished. We left. What, what, kind, of, what, kind, of, what kind of dance did you do? You'll see the video. <laughs> no, I know we have some one or two names of some dance moves. Which it was, one? It was my own kind of dance Your move. own, okay. I was, I, was rolling, dance. I was rolling my, my waist to oh, the rhythm of the music, oh. you know. Whose song yeah. was that? It was a song by Sound Sultan. The title is Orobo. Oh, and okay. Orobo in slangs, Lagos slangs, mm -hmm. means Obolo. Oh, yeah, so I see. a thick girl. He, he, mm -hmm. The song is just about him praising thick girls and how he loves thick girls. So mm. I just felt that was a, mm. a good music mm. to mm. vibe to. Oh, I see. And the second day, okay. went <laughs> backstage, <laughs> and I told Obi, I said, Guy, today my nervousness is more than yesterday. He said, uh, hey. Even the second day? Hey, the after second you had killed even the first day? The first day, uh, it was just God. It was God. Because it got to a point, I was on stage. I was talking and then the people were laughing. I wanted to keep talking, they were laughing. So I had to stop. I had to like pause. To be like, you know what? It's okay, you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was it was good. Okay. And it was good. And then the second day I said, Hey Obi, this one is not yesterday's audience. So yesterday's was five five thousand naira. Everybody, okay. no table. Oh, okay. So it was like relating. The with second day was a bigger class. Billionaires are and you know rich men, this is how they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you are funny, we are laughing. What else do you want us to do? So even when you're hearing the loud, loud laughter, it's coming from the back. <laughs> Before the loud laughter reached the front, the wow. punchline has passed. Wow. All the rich men were there in my front. <laughs> so it was... <laughs> Hold it up for me. <laughs> I still want to go backstage with Jacinta to ask her more questions. I have spoken to so many comedians and anytime the backstage discussion comes up, they still tell you, I was nervous, I was nervous, I was nervous. Meanwhile, you guys have been doing it over the years. Mm -hmm. Why are you always still nervous backstage? Oh, like I said, every every stage is a different experience altogether. I've not I've not performed for that audience before, mm -hmm. so I have every right to be nervous. Mm. For every even I think it's not just comedians. Even as a human being, if you're doing something new, you'll be nervous. You're starting a new. But business. it's not new. Yeah, it's new. The stage is new. The audience is new. <laughs> it's mm. a new day. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm talking about being nervous on the second day. Mm -hmm. I, when Ike went on stage and they told me, Jacinta, you're next. 
they put the microphone in my hand. I was so nervous. Eh? <laughs> then all of a sudden, I felt something left me. I felt loose. <laughs> like something... Basti loose. <laughs> around my chest area. I felt, mm. You know. Then I checked. I said, I now tapped Obi. I said, guy, my bra strap just removed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Obi said, hey, how? I said, hey, how nervous. <laughs> Your breast like, strap to remove. Just remove on his own. From behind or from Me? front? <laughs> from the front. This <laughs> particular <laughs> Oh, the right one. Yeah. I hear babies like the right one more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the babies, so I don't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh, so, uh -huh. I mean, I like it was on stage introducing me. I said, which kind of wild be? So quickly, I just, you know, turned around, turned. used small style style. Did any of the guys help? No, no, no. He didn't want them to thinking about their lives. Uh, <laughs> Obi that was busy thinking about himself. Yeah, so nobody was even no, in a position nobody, to help. But you fixed it. Oh, I fixed it. I don't tell you, I said, hey, so what if this is now to remove? <laughs> when so when you went on the stage, it didn't happen again. No, it didn't happen we thank again. God for I, fixed, that. I fixed it very well, you know. It was stronger we thank than God the for that. Um, Obi tells me to him that was the biggest salary he has received as a comedian. I don't know the story of Jacinta. How about you? So far, uh, is it? I need to agree. I need to. You need to check uh, someone or two. I need to check someone mm. or two. You have a management because team or something? I have a manager okay. and I have people I work with. So when you say team, mm. team Maybe makes it some look like some, some beam nation. Yeah. No, you are a lady. <laughs> you have some stylist. You have some <laughs> PA. I have all have... those people. That's the team. Uh, so yes, okay, yeah, I do. I have mm. good people mm -hmm. who come through for me mm -hmm. when it's time to take pictures, make mm. good dresses, mm. do makeup. I mm. have very good people who come through See, for me. So, now yeah. that cliche of Ghanaian comedians are not funny. And like you, you, uh, you keep saying that the people don't see you as a Ghanaian. Do you also get affected by that statement? Oh, Ghanaian comedians, they are not funny, they are not funny. Does it affect you? Um, no, I don't think it does. And I've never believed that Ghanaian comedians are not funny. Okay. I've just always, I've just always said it, and I'll keep saying it that we just need to attend comedy shows because even back then, most of the people who were saying they are not funny never even attended comedy shows. Mm. They just sat back and then criticized because they didn't sound like Nigerians, mm -hmm. and that was the first kind of comedy we were exposed to. Mm -hmm. So because we were not sounding like Nigerians, it wasn't funny. Mm. So I think now people have paid attention and they realize that, oh, okay, these guys are they up to something, well. you know, and uh, for me personally, sometimes people tell me that, do you think it's because of your accent, that's why your, your accept, uh, accept you. and I, my, if you're funny, you're funny. Trevor doesn't have a Nigerian accent, he's funny. Mm -hmm. Kevin doesn't have a Nigerian, he's funny. If you're funny, you're funny, it doesn't matter what accent you use, so... Mm. Mm. You cannot say it is because of that. I see. Now, we are moving on to um, the stage where most of our comedians are having their own gigs. The story of um, Jacinta, do you also have your own comedy platform you do annually, maybe quarterly, yet? Uh, I'm about to do a comedy show. Mm -hmm. Target is 2020. So now that you've mentioned it, I'm calling all sponsors. <laughs> yeah, no, no, talk to Please them. come through for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I don't just want to do the regular stand-up comedy show where it's like this one comes, performs. I want to do a comedy show, a complete comedy show. I can't say everything, mm. but that, we're looking at a complete comedy show. Mm. That um, is a self-made show for yes, Jacinta. Yes, And yes. we should expect that next year. Yes. I see. Um, guys, we need to support her. So anytime the announcement comes up, I'm sure Sammy Flex TV will also be in a hurry yes, to yes, mention yes. that for us to support her all the time. Do you have a record of your most embarrassing moment on stage as a comedian? I'm, I'm not sure I've experienced that yet. You haven't any... Not yet mm. in my career, mm -hmm. thankfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, then I'm also praying Not that. Yet. I'm also I praying that. that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm also praying that it doesn't happen to you. you. I've also heard you've been nominated in one European award that is yes, the yes, Ghana yes. Music and Arts Award in Europe. Yes. Um, how far? <laughs> Which people are you in that uh, category with? Um, whether you stand or, the... or beating them. Oh, we're all good. I mean, the nomination is 
is congratulatory enough for me mm -hmm. as a person. It's just that, I mean, when most of those nominations come, I'm sorry to say most of these awards are based on people you know. And Sami Flex, you know I don't know anybody. I didn't even grow up in Ghana. People just see what I don't like. Oh, okay. Then the nomination comes. Sometimes people even... Um, like petition for me to even be nominated like oh why is Jacinta not in this category people file for me to be nominated but as for winning the awards dear I don't know anybody <laughs> um, I don't know anybody well maybe you have to start your campaign uh, okay. the good people listening to us all over the world and then another thing I want to say is that when we do the music awards we do female we do male so when you're doing comedy awards too then you just put me in with all the guys I know I'm the but, only one, but, so uh -huh. give that to me. <laughs> I was about to exactly. ask that. If you wanted to, do, to me. If you wanted <laughs> to do a different um, platform for female mm -hmm. uh, comedians, apart from Jacinta. So make it honorary. Oh, you need to compete. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but you, you ladies are saying what a man can do, a woman can do better. So why yeah. are you now No, but like I said, I said when you do the music, you do it in... Male and female. Cartoon Even in movies, male and female. TV presenters, male and female. Radio presenters, male and female. Mm -hmm. Then comedy. Mm, you put them all together. You put them all together. Well, you, you think because they put you all together, you don't stand a chance because of the I male factor? I, I, I stand a chance, but like I said, you still have to know somebody. Mm, mm. All these things work hand in hand, so... I'm grateful for all the nom. I've had so many nominations over time, mm -hmm. from America, from. I think the only one that really gladdened my heart was the one from South Africa, because that one I knew nobody knew me, oh, and okay. it came. It was natural, I see. and I really appreciate that. But most of our words, Sammy. Some way. You speak tree. Ah, uh -uh, my tree. Hey, you've not seen me speaking tree. No. <laughs> hardly do I, even I, hardly do I hear you speaking tree. I speak tree now. I even teach. You teach? Yeah. At where? On Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> How do you teach chi on Instagram? I speak it uh -huh. to the, the beauty of my hearers. Oh, and they okay. enjoy it. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter how it sounds. Understanding okay. is key. Okay. Yeah. Recently, I met one lady, um, in fact, very old, who tells us that she's also a comedian, a okay. very old lady. And she says the way you people dress on a stage, uh, if you guys can even make your looks funny enough, you wouldn't even have to say enough before people can laugh. Just look funny. Maybe like a, a Jacinta coming with some one jeans cut, the other long, and all that. Do you buy that advice from? I've forgotten her name though. <laughs> uh, she's advising all stand-up comedians. Yes. To do. Uh, uh -huh. to her do. name is Powerful Agoji. <laughs> Powerful oh, Agoji. That's the I name. I think I heard on radio. Yes, on radio. I heard it. Mm. I heard it that day. Uh, that's her opinion. But I think that the world is evolving and you don't see world-class stand-up comedians dressing. You can't go before the president. I recently emceed the birthday of the second lady. Mm -hmm. You would expect me to go there dripped in red paints and mm -hmm. looking, you know, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. well, we live in a very, very evolved mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. There are still people who still do that, though. Okay. I, mean, it's, I don't think it's out of fashion no. altogether. Um, those who people, do the Akan comedy of a sort. Yes, they still do it. But mm -hmm. then my type of comedy would not allow me to do that because my target is corporate people. My target is intelligent intellectual people mm. i'm not saying those who listen to that the other one are not intelligent <laughs> so I <better> go. <laughs> okay we get it <laughs> you know this is <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> so like i said depends on your audience and mm -hmm. what's your the message you're trying to pass mm -hmm. across would you expect me to go on the comedy festival mm -hmm. dressed in when basket mouth has come to work did you see the his jacket mm -hmm. did you mm -hmm. see no 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 ah! he's known for that blinging proper jackets and all that yeah sometimes it is is white in uh -huh. doing his thing. looking all prim and proper so it depends on your audience and who you're trying to reach out to we were in that stage and we have moved from that mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. you know I, I want to believe that even those who are doing that if they had the opportunity mm -hmm. to do what we're doing now they, they would change their style they I would yeah. who is your best comedian in africa in africa yeah chai the continent chai in entirety chai my mother Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, no. I, I, I want the proper. You won't name. take that one. No, 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 no. Hey, she's funny. No, no, no. no. I've, because I've, she's not holding. No, I've her never mind. seen her on any platform, so I can't <laughs> accept that name. I want hey, any of the practicing comedians here in Africa. This is a tough one, no, Sammy Flex. Um, You're putting me in a very tight corner. Um, you Hi. should have a choice. There are a lot. A lot. There are a lot. So you think Africa is too big, so I should zone you in Ghana? No, Ghana is Africa. Ghana uh, is not yeah, Africa for me, because... though. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted you to give me Africa, okay. then we come back to Ghana. In Africa. Yeah. Because mm. I know you've been following them. It's an industry love, you are part of. I love Bovi. Mm -hmm. I love Bucci. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Mm -hmm. ah, myself. Okay. Now let's come to Ghana. Okay. In Ghana, who are your favorites? Augustine Dennis. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is sick, oh. <laughs> uh, Augustine Dennis, Augustine. Huh? Augustine is very unassuming. Mm. He, his style. I like his style of comedy. Mm. And um, he mentioned my name in his interview. <laughs> I wasn't his favorite comedian. I know, and right? I thought he loved me. Yeah. Like, that's Obi too loves your type of women, oh. It's not true. No, 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 I know. No, no. He, he for does, sure, for sure, for sure. He mm. can't handle it. But I know he's now I feel the unity among the comedians in Ghana. It wasn't like that before. <laughs> or, or it is fake. <laughs> is it some... <laughs> no, is it some make-believe or it's real? Because I'm feeling it. This one is doing it. They all go and support. The other is doing They all go and support. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard me yeah. right. Or yeah, me support support is very good. Like when you support each other in, mm -hmm. in business, mm -hmm. it's very good. Is there a united comedy industry in Ghana? You see, Manchester United, eh, they beat them. They beat them last two weeks. Jacinta, you can't swerve this question. What I mean is that are comedians in Ghana, you guys together, do you think together, do you do things together? When you say do we think together, I see we don't live in the same household. <laughs> like everybody, like they are living in their separate. No, I get you. Houses. I get you perfectly. Now I see this one doing events. They mention a bunch of comedians coming to support. The other day, this one. The other day. So we, the people watching from afar, we feel you guys are very united. You guys are together all the time. Is that the real story or it is fake? I think most of us we like my Manchester United, so that's why, you know. Okay. We are united. On this note, I know it won't work, <laughs> and you know the answer. Aha! Uh -huh. On this note, you know the answer. I don't want her to say any other thing again. After five different ways to get to her, to... she is still swerving me. So you know the answer. There is no unity. Uh -huh. What is your YouTube channel? Harris Jacinta. I use Harris, Harris Jacinta. Jacinta. That is H-E-I-R-E-S-S. -E -E -S -S. Okay. Then J-A-C-I-N-T-A. All right. Now, you know what to do. She has a lot of performances on that platform. Subscribe to Harris Jacinta Thank on you. YouTube and be part of all those who are enjoying her performances. And again, if you want to reach her for any performance, social media, she's very active, especially yes. on Instagram. Yes. Just DM her. Just last, uh, our man, a bright, a.k.a. basket mouth, DM'd her and you there know. was business. Just do that and we are good to go. Jacinta, yes. God bless you. Thank you I very much. I pray that much. one day, Thank comedians you. in Ghana, you guys will be united. Yeah, the, the show was so nice. I really enjoyed it. My name is Sammy you. Flex. She is Jacinta Masita. Thanks to Currency for making the production happen. Salute. <laughs>